gems, healing potions. So yeah, I think there were some magic arrows, yeah. Apparently the outer cap got poisoned by the Atiag. I guess we'll just have to kind of bear that with as much grace as it possibly can. And well, more magic arrows for him, good. Okay. So that's not bad at all. They actually managed to take out the Atiag by themselves. Oh, your berserkers and enter caps, nothing to mess with. It's or underestimate. Beneath me. <laughs> well, that's a fine attitude if, to take. If you're sure. Uh, let's see, we should probably make some more preparations, like stone skins. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, group healing, definitely. What is she affected by still? Ah, uh, slow. That must have been from that creature's attacks. Most unpleasant. We have such stories amongst my people. Being underground is just not for the Avariel. I'm probably not. What is this here? Too far away. Two skeletons lie entwined in each other's arms in a turtle embrace. One of the skeletons is slightly smaller than the other. His pony finger there is a golden ring. Remove it if you wish to. Well, that's probably the lover's gift. Yeah, you remove the ring from the finger and it tingles in your palm. There's obviously something special about the ring. Yep. Yeah, that's probably the lover's gift right there. It's just as I thought! Hardly the most romantic place for a honeymoon, but what can we say? Oh, we should probably keep looking for traps. Okay. Very well. Really good idea. Aye. This actually looks familiar. Yeah, I think this actually will lead back up to the uh, upper coronet. Uh oh, slimes! Look out! Mm -hmm. Onward then. All right, party, get organized. And then forward together. We can eat it from the slimes. They're prepared. Yes, try. That's not right. There we are not being. Oh, okay. There we go. We got the ochre jelly. Okay, apparently we need magical weapons. Is that all? I'd hope for more. Do we have any magical attacks? Well, we can try that. Shocking grasp. Um, hmm. I'm not really sure what else we could do. Apparently the ammunition is what has to be magical here. Maybe Carrot has a staff? <laughs> I don't want to be using a lightning bolt staff right here. Uh, yeah. I guess Mint is going to have to handle it with his magic sword. Should probably get everyone some magical weapons at some point. Considering we run into more of these creatures and Minsk is somehow preoccupied. Okay. Mint, uh, jump on my sword while you can, evil. I won't be as gentle! Well, apparently there's a grate here we can search. There's a pool beneath this grate. The water is dark and slime-filled. You could reach into it if you wish to. Well, Yoshimo would probably look a bit disgusted at this, but be like, well, maybe there's some treasure down there? Who knows? Ah, you kneel upon the grate and reach into the pool. Find something, but as you draw it out of the pool, you are bitten by some creature. Despite the pain, you draw an old, shriveled hand out of the pool. Ew. Desiccated hand that you found in the sewers. Despite the moisture, the flesh is not rotted away. Well, I think that was probably the last item we were looking for. Of course. And if that's the way up to the copper coronet, I guess the only other mystery is what uh, this would lead to. Which I suppose the party could go examine if they wished. I am willing. Ready and a I wouldn't dream of refusing. Yeah, I suppose they, uh, they should. Alright, let's quick save real fast and, uh, head up the stairs and see what's this way. 
All right, then. What the? Apparently we are now in, like, an underground forest grove. And there is a minotaur named Andorian fighting some myconids, which are mushroom men. Yeah, that's certainly not what we were expecting. Oh, and there actually appears to be a belligerent hobgoblin immediately in our midst. Oh, we took care of that. Uh-oh, Minsk is confused. That's that's really bad, actually. Um, hmm. Well, in that case, let's put Autoluke's Resilient Sphere upon Minsk, just to keep him from doing things that uh, we might otherwise regret. Now, let's cast Slow on our enemies, and uh, maybe summon up some help in terms of a nymph. Yoshimo can I shoot. I dance on the head of a pin as well. However I can. As he's wont to do. And, uh, maybe Aerie can cast, uh, remove magic. To remove any, uh, enchantments or enemies that way. Oh dear. Minsk appears to be, uh... Yeah, I don't know, he's invisible now. I don't really get what that is, you but... Require nothing more. Here come our enemies. Alright. Um, well, I guess polymorph self on yourself in order to uh, maybe become something that can better fight these monsters. Carrot, I guess, whole person probably won't do anything. Hold monster will, though. Let's try hold monster on the Where shall I display my skill in it? a foot and all that. And, um... I guess we'll try slowing them again? Or maybe... <laughs> I'm not really sure. Yeah, okay. I guess we'll try slowing them again. Oh, wow, this thing is hurting to hear pretty badly. Alright, well we managed to paralyze the king. Um, Alright, now Nalia can turn into... An ogre, spider, mustard jelly. Um, let's try an ogre. All right, Nalia becomes Glad an ogre. Be All right, let's have her beat up some of these uh, creatures. She hears a bit too hurt to engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat, so I'm going to do sling. Whatever I can do to help. Carrot will do the same. All right, and then we'll do that to uh, the other one. Wow. Apparently Nalia in ogre form. Nothing to trifle with. I think she could probably head back to her natural form now. Nicely done, Nalia. If only I could do as much for all in need of me. I try so hard. Yes indeed. Just name what you want. No, don't don't attack Carrot, please. Eh, uh, get away. Of course. Alright. The bigger they are, the harder I hit. Minsk is back to normal. I am willing. As for the nymph... Don't teach my hamster to suck eggs! We promise we won't, Minsk. I don't actually know where that went. I don't like this. How are we helping the less fortunate trudging around in here? Don't rightly know, actually. There was a potion on this minotaur, as well as a scroll. Looks like another friend scroll. Alright, we're out of those. Well, does anyone want to learn it? Oh, Airy fails, whatever. Okay, what was it? I think it was a strength potion. Yep. Okay. Where Minsk goes, evil stands aside. Well, that was rather highly random. Some lycanids and other odd creatures all over here. I don't really know. I wouldn't dream of refusing. What was going on in this place? But. Yeah. Okay then. Oh yes. Something tells me that he probably had that area planned for another little quest and just didn't end up actually using it for such. And there's our nymph, who we can't control. Nymph has nothing to say to you. And we can't select her, so... Just as I thought! Yeah, I guess that's a bug or something. Oh, well. So, moving right along then. And again, I guess Carrot would wonder whether it would be really safe to actually leave the kobolds there. Then again, they seem so harmless. And, uh, 
Yeah, their hostility was really only directed towards uh, their traitorous leader. I suppose we can just leave them alone. But now that we have all the items, I'm kind of curious as to uh, what we I would go. need to do, like what the proper order is. Alright, maybe you could tell us a bit more about the blade. Um, maybe asking about what joke has been played upon us? The eternal jest. Jest of those who believe the hiding equals safety. Find the one and you may understand. Well, who is this one that you speak of? You have met him already, child. Perhaps soon you shall know him well. Find the clues the one has left. There is danger in what you must undertake. You shall look for the clues in return. Where the topside filth drains, there are the clues. Return to me ere you follow the one's path, for there is much that you must learn. Alright. Got a blade to seek out the clues elsewhere, presumably where the water drains. Well, we did that, I think. Yes. Have you found the clues, child, or must this place remain a tomb forever? I think we found your clues, old man. And the one has told you that it requires four things to unlock itself. The lock is more complicated than that. The keys must be used in the correct order. Ask what you will of me about the keys, and I shall give you what answers you are worthy of. Some questions I may not answer. Alright, well, can you tell us about this ring? It is not first, nor does it belong in the third pipe. Well, then it's either the second or the fourth. Okay. What is this riddle of a true friend that the riddle speaks of? I'm so happy you brought me with you. I never imagined that we would be doing such great things. You know, I'm sure that was supposed to be sarcasm, but it sure didn't sound like that, Aerie. That's pretty funny. A pain look of regret crosses over Qualo's face and he turns away. Alright, so he won't tell us about the... This creature's carrying Crawler's blood. What about the staff? The staff shall seal the bargain and prove your worth. Well, that's probably the fourth one, then. What about the hand? It was Vala's hand that cast the one into the depths. His suffering is of prime importance. Prime would mean the first. So I would imagine it would be the hand. Followed by... What was the ring again? Not the first, nor does it belong in the third. Alright, so it would probably be hand, ring, and then s blood, and then staff. So hand, ring, blood, staff. Okay, you have no further questions. Onward then. Okay. The only question is, huh, do we remember which of these uh, was in the proper order? I didn't actually log it out quite back as far as we would have liked. Hmm. This could be a little tricky. Alright, hopefully my sword while you can, it'll evil. tell us again what it is. Alright, let's check this out. Hold on. 